This is the Bell 412 EPX, the latest iteration in the long and storied lineage of Bell's 412 series of helicopters. The introduction of the aircraft came as a collaborative venture between Bell and Subaru Corporation, bringing together the engineering prowess of two giants in the aerospace industry. The helicopter was developed with improvements to the rotor system, transmission, and structural elements, making it a suitable choice for a myriad of missions. The EPX builds upon the foundational framework established by the 412 EPI, but while the EPI introduced modern avionics and performance enhancements when it was launched in 2013, the EPX takes things a step further. A critical feature that sets it apart is its strengthened main rotor gearbox, which permits an increased maximum gross weight that has significant implications for operational capabilities, enabling higher payload capacity and a broader scope of mission profiles. But does it really live up to the legacy of the 400 series? Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Bell 412 EPX. Stepping inside, Ease of access is a strong point for the cabin. The floor height of 3.8 feet or 1.16 meters from the ground facilitates relatively easy embarking and disembarking. If cargo loading is a concern, the rear clamshell doors offer a wide opening with a width of 5.3 feet or 1.6 meters, simplifying the task of loading bulky or cumbersome items. When you first step into the cabin, You'll notice its reasonable volume of 220 cubic feet or 6.23 cubic meters. The seating configurations are quite flexible, usually accommodating up to 13 passengers, although comfort can take a back seat when the cabin is at full capacity. Bench-style seats are the standard, and these come with energy-absorbing features to enhance safety. The downside is that legroom can be somewhat compromised in a full cabin, making it less than ideal for extended journeys. The cabin offers a decent headroom, but its main focus is on maximizing the use of space for both passengers and cargo. In terms of materials used, you can expect standard aviation-grade textiles and plastics. It doesn't have the plush interiors you might find in executive helicopters, but it meets the needs for which it is intended, reliable, utilitarian service. Despite efforts to reduce cabin noise, the 412 does fall short in offering a quiet experience. Noise levels tend to linger around 80 to 85 decibels at cruising speeds, requiring headsets for any extended conversations. Some level of vibration is also noticeable, particularly at higher speeds or in turbulent conditions. The main cabin is relatively devoid of high-tech features. It is, however, usually fitted with overhead lighting and climate control, both of which are manually operated. In terms of safety, the cabin is equipped with essential features like fire extinguishers and first aid kits. The seat's energy-absorbing quality is a significant safety feature designed to mitigate impact forces during hard landings. These measures contribute to the 412's reputation for being a sturdy and safe choice for a variety of missions. Stepping into the cockpit, the overall area measures around 50 cubic feet or 1.4 cubic meters, which offers adequate space for two pilots making it quite comparable in size to its predecessor, the original 412 model. Both the collective and cyclic control sticks are intuitively placed, and the rudder pedals are adjustable, offering a modicum of customization for individual comfort. The instrument panel is less cluttered, thanks in part to the integration of digital screens, which replace a plethora of traditional dials and gauges. The seats are adjustable and come with lumbar support, one of the most notable upgrades is the introduction of the Bell Basics Pro Avionics System. This is an integrated glass cockpit that features four 10.4-inch high-res LCD MFDs, which offer a range of customizable configurations and can present everything from flight parameters to system status to navigational data. The screens are sunlight-readable and NVG-compatible, extending operational capabilities into a broad range of lighting conditions. The avionics suite also includes a three-axis, fully-coupled autopilot, which offers various modes such as altitude hold, heading select, and nav-vor tracking, a particularly valuable feature in search and rescue or medevac situations where pilots may need to divert their attention from the controls. The BASIX Pro system includes an integrated flight management system, a feature that brings the 412 EPX in line with modern fixed-wing aircraft in terms of navigational capabilities. 
the FMS enables pilots to pre-plan routes and make in-flight adjustments as needed, taking into account variables like airspeed, altitude, and fuel consumption. Talking about communication, the 412 EPX is generally equipped with dual VHF and UHF radios, providing robust and reliable communication capabilities. For navigation, the Basics Pro integrates VOR slash ILS slash GPS, essentially offering pilots a variety of options for both visual and instrument-based navigation. The system also supports wide area augmentation system capabilities, which improve GPS accuracy and reliability. The 412 EPX includes features like a traffic collision avoidance system and a health and usage monitoring system, which offer real-time monitoring of the helicopter's health, flagging any irregularities or potential issues before they become critical problems. It also comes with a terrain awareness warning system, contributing significantly to flight safety by providing real-time information on ground proximity. Now, let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Bell 412 EPX is powered by the Pratt and Whitney Canada PT 6T3D turbo twin pack engine setup with a TBO of 4,000 hours. This power plant is essentially a twin engine configuration packaged as a single unit, which provides the 412 with an extra layer of reliability. Each engine in this twin pack configuration can deliver up to 1,800 shaft horsepower. This new engine model offers a tangible improvement in power output compared to the earlier versions, making it highly suitable for a myriad of applications including search and rescue, firefighting, and offshore transport. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 1,620 feet or 500 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 20,000 feet or 6,100 meters. The aircraft has a maximum cruise speed of 125 knots, with an average hourly fuel burn of 92 gallons or 350 liters. While not the fastest in its class, this speed is respectable for a utility helicopter designed to balance power with payload capabilities. The helicopter has a maximum range of 360 nautical miles, which is 415 miles or 665 kilometers, with a useful load of 6,200 pounds or 2,810 kilograms. The base purchase price for a new Bell 412 EPX is $16 million before options, and the charter price is estimated at $4,000 to $6,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $400,000 to $600,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $2,000 to $3,000. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.